Hello, hello, hello. Come on in the room. Thank you so much for those who are joining us for Tell It Tuesday. And for those who aren't able to join live, but who are catching the replay, I am streaming in various places. My husband and I have a business called Regroup for Change LLC, where we're helping married couples to create financial peace in their marriages in order to do various things like build a solid nest egg, go on vacations paid in cash, or even eliminate or pay down debt. At the same time, I am encouraging and motivating women and individuals to soar into their full potential. So on Marquita Green Motivates is where you find daily encouragement and motivation. And then I am also streaming on Periscope for anyone who may follow me or find me over on that platform. I know Periscope is going to be closing down in March, but I'm still going to report on Periscope as long as I possibly can because you never know what word, what seed, what tell it Tuesday seed somebody needs to hear. If you are following me on Periscope, then I would encourage you to come on over to Facebook and to either of the platforms that I just mentioned, even on Instagram, both Regroup for Change LLC and MGM or Marquita Green Motivates are also on Instagram. So come on over. But it's Tell It Tuesday, so I got something to tell y'all. A few years ago, I was begging, begging, begging my husband for a treadmill. This is when I was like really heavy into running and I wanted to have an alternative to running outside because you already know that down in Florida, it can rain a dime before you even know it. It can be pouring on one side of town and dry on another. You can leave work and it's dry. And by the time you get to your walk on the running spot, it's raining. And so I decided that I wanted to do something different. And so I got a treadmill. And I was super duper excited about this treadmill. That treadmill was purchased in Tallahassee when my family relocated to Jacksonville. And guess what came over with us? The treadmill came over. Well, on this day, you see the title and the title is It's Time to Purge. We are in a brand new year. We are in a brand new season. And what does that mean? It means that we have to do things different. We can't always do what we've always done and expect to get a different result, right? We can't hold on to things that are keeping us in bondage. We can't hold on to people that are meant to be no good for us. We can't hold on to things that are weighing us down and holding us down. So in this season, we have to shed some things. We have to let go of some things. And what does that look like? It looks like purging some things. And so a few days ago, I said to my husband, we need to sell the treadmill. And it was a hard thing for me to say because I begged for that thing, right? I asked for that thing. And he went out and he bought it for me. And then here I am a couple of years later saying, don't want it. Well, guess what? That happens with all of us. At some point, we want something today, but when the season shifts and when things change, guess what? So does our circumstances. And as things change and as things begin to shift, we've got to be willing to do something different. And so in this season and in this time of purging, I encourage you to go back and look at the things that may need to be purged in your life. I encourage you to go back and figure out what do you need to let go? What do you need to get rid of? What do you need to sell? One of the things that we often say or uh, talk about in terms of finances is we don't have enough money. We don't have enough money to get from point A to point B. We don't have enough money to do the things that we want to do on a regular basis. And we find ourselves robbing Peter to pay Paul. Well, guess what? What do you have to purge? What do you have sitting in the closet? What do you have sitting in the corner of the living room? What have you been holding on to when you go through those clothes? And when you look at the fact that some of those clothes are no longer serving you any purpose, you can't even fit half of them anymore, right? What are you holding on to them for? You're holding on thinking that one day I'm going to lose weight or one day I'm going to gain the weight or one day. Well, guess what? You got to focus on today. And this day is the time to purge. This is the day to get rid of the things that are cluttering up your space, the things that are cluttering up your mind. And so again, being on various platforms, purging is good for finances because guess what happens? It brings in finances. You get rid of the things that are just sitting in a corner collecting dust and you bring in money to do some things that you may not have otherwise been able to do. You bring in money that says, okay, let me pay down this debt. You bring in money to say, let me pay off that loan. You bring in money to say, let me get that birthday gift or that Christmas present. That's one way 
to bring in extra funds. But the other reason why we purge is because the things that we're holding on to are keeping us in a mental bondage. Even when you think about the fact that the treadmill was sitting off in a corner, first it was in our home office and now it was sitting in our laundry room. But it was taking up space. What else could have been done with that space? How could that space otherwise be useful and be uh, utilized? In this season, you're being called into a new place. You're being called to do something different. You're being called to be stretched. But are you giving yourself the space that you need to be stretched? Or are you putting yourself in a box and saying that I'm not able to move and I'm not able to shift because I don't have the space. I don't have the territory. You have the space. You have the capacity. You you have the things you need to grow and to build but what are you doing with that space are those spaces cluttered i had a conversation with one of my daughters just a few days ago and it was about cleaning her room and it there was stuff everywhere and i'm like that's why you're so frustrated that's why you're so stressed that's why you're so tense that's why you're so overwhelmed because when you look around you there's stuff everywhere it's time to purge it's time to get rid of the things that are clouding up your mind that are clouding your judgment and so my encouragement to you today my encouragement to somebody today whether you're watching live or whether you're catching a replay is to think about the things that need to go the things that you need to get rid of in this hour this is the perfect season it's the start of a brand new year before you can go further before you can reach your calling before you can reach your destination you've got to let go of the things that are stopping you from moving forward whether it's stopping you in the physical because you can't move and maneuver or whether it's stopping you in the mental because your mind is clouded maybe it's stopping you financially because you're holding on to things that need to go whatever it is my encouragement to you right now is to look around you figuratively and spiritually maybe there are some people that needs to be purged i don't know but i encourage you to go figure out what needs to be purged in your life in your situation and in your circumstances and get rid of those things so that you can go forward and do all the things that you've been again this is my tell it tuesday so letting go of that treadmill was big for me but not only did it bring some finances into the home that we are going to set aside and use when we move in a couple of months. But we have created some space that is necessary in order for us to move forward. As we prepare to move, we're not waiting, and this is a whole nother tip, we're not waiting until moving day comes to get rid of the clutter. We are beginning to clear the space now so that we can walk into, so we know what we're taking into the new. We understand that we can't take into the new situation. We can't take into our new lifestyle. We can't take into this new home that we haven't even found yet. But whatever it is, we can't take the old stuff and expect something new. So in this season of soaring, in this season of creating financial peace in your home, my encouragement to you is to purge this is your season this is your time i've done it today on a sell it tuesday my husband did it for me today on a sell it tuesday and so i am encouraging you to get rid of the weight get rid of the dead weight and purge peace